hello. Thanks for joining me in this power flow today. We will be working on strength as well as balance and flexibility. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so I'll have you all start in child's pose. We will come and bring our knees out slightly, toes together, extend your hips back, extend your fingertips forward, drop your head down. I want you to take a deep breath here, inhale, and then exhale, release. Feel your shoulders, allow your chest to release and down towards the mat. You can even move your hips side to side just to feel your hips. And just do a quick body scan from your fingertips all the way down to your shoulders, relax your forehead, feel your, your back, your spine, your hips, your knees, your feet, your toes, soles of your feet, your heels. I want you to take a deep breath in and exhale. Just feel your body and your breath. Just bring yourself into this moment. Yeah, we're gonna come into all fours. Kind of move your knees out a little bit. And your feet out in line with your knees. You're gonna just open up your chest, draw your navel in, and then exhale round the spine, open up the back. Good, just kind of rock forward and back. Feel your spine. You're opening up your shoulder blades away from each other. Yeah, and then open up your chest. Cow, draw your navel in. Shoulder heads away from your neck. Good, and then go ahead and curl your toes under. Lift your hips up and back into your downward dog. And go ahead and pedal the feet. Then the right, straighten out the left. And then the left, straighten out the right. And feel opening up, stretching out the back of the legs. Then you can go ahead and straighten out both legs, heels down, press away from the mat, draw your navel in. You're gonna bring your focus right at your navel. Your palms, feel your palms, mid palms planted. Feel your finger paws too, gripping the mat, pressing away from the mat. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, bend your knees, lift up, walk your feet in between your hands. Open up your chest, draw your navel into spine. You think tailbone back, exhale, forward fold, drop your head down. Good, and then grab ankles, feel the stretch, and then slowly roll up, head last. Extend the arms into our Bhastasana, palms together. And exhale, bring your hands towards your heart. And do that again, inhale, extend the arms overhead. Draw the navel in, open chest, exhale, forward fold, into. Uttanasana, good. Ardha Uttanasana, half fold, open up your chest. Good, exhale, bend your knees, palms down. You can jump or hop back or jump or step back into high plank. Good, feel your hips, you're gonna shift your weight forward. Chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog, flip your feet, open up your chest, squeeze your glutes, chest forward, shoulder heads, back, shoulder blades in and down your back. Exhale, curl your toes under, hips up and back. Good, take a deep breath in, draw your navel in, and exhale here. Stand through all four sides of the torso. Inhale through the nose, and exhale. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. Good, inhale through the nose, and exhale. Inhale. Okay, last one. Deep inhale and deep exhale. Good. I'm gonna bend your knees, look up, hop or walk your feet in between your hands. Yeah. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, forward flow, drop your head. Good. Inhale, slowly roll up. Into your Urva Hastasana, palms together, fingertips up, reaching towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands toward your heart. Good. Sama CBH, we're gonna do that again. Inhale, spin your arms, fingertips up towards the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half fold, open chest. 
Exhale, bend your knees, palms down. Hop or step back into your high plank. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Go slow, slow, slow. <laughs> Inhale, upward facing dog. Open up your chest. Draw your navel in. Remember, shoulder blades in and down your back. Then slightly lift your chin. Exhale, go into your downward dog. You can pedal the feet, draw your navel in, drop your head. And bring your focus right at your navel. And then go ahead, take a deep breath in. And try and get your heels down towards the mat. Exhale here. Good. Inhale through the nose. And exhale. And deep breath in. And deep breath out. Good. Two more. The last one. Good, you can go ahead, bend your knees. You can hop your feet in between your hands. Good, inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, forward fold. Drop your head. Inhale, slowly roll up. Bring your arms overhead, palms together. Bring the hips up, exhale, bring your hands towards your heart. Good. And go ahead, take a deep breath in, back into your Urban Hot Stop. Now I want you to bring your fingertips up and back, squeeze your glutes, open up your chest. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half fold, open chest. Draw your navel in. Exhale, bend your knees. You can hop back or you can step back into a high plank. Good. You're gonna go ahead and bring your right palm into the center. I'm just going to do a side plank here. Feet stacked on top of each other. Key is to get your hips up and extend the arm. Go into a line. I can't really see myself, but you can draw your navel in. Come back into your high plank. Good. I'm going to do the other side. Left palm in the center. Keep lifting your hips up. Lift up the hip and up out of the, the armpit. Extend the arm. So a big line, I mean straight line, lift those hips. Look up at your fingertips, bring your focal point to the, to the ceiling, draw your navel in, try your best, come back. Draw the navel in, good. Come into your downward, you're gonna go into your chaturanga, shift your weight forward, all the way down, you're gonna come all the way onto your belly. Good, inhale, open up your chest into your baby cobra, draw the navel, inhale, elbow squeeze in, Exhale, come down. Good. You're gonna go into your downward dog. I mean, into your child's pose, sorry. <laughs> into your child's pose. Just relax here. Kind of move your hips side to side. Take a deep breath in and exhale. So I just had you do the side plank. Get your arms nice and ready, warmed up. Here we go, you're gonna come into your downward dog. Draw your navel in. Now I want you to bring your feet together. Mm -hmm. Good. Feel yourself extending, pressing back, opening up your chest. Keep your tailbone lifted up and back. All right, so we're going to go ahead and sing your right. Right leg goes up. Extend, extend as much as you can. Now I want you to open up that hip. Good. Now I want you to bring your right knee in towards your right, I mean your left elbow. Right knee towards your left elbow. Good. Now see so if you can extend it out and then come back. Yes. Okay. And try that again. Right knee towards your left elbow. Now I want you to extend out. Good. And come back. You kind of twist too. Get your hips like your right hip bone towards the front. Now we're going to go ahead and bring your right foot in between your hands. Keep that knee in towards your chest. Lift. Yeah, right foot in between your hand. Seal that back heel down. Uncurl your toe. Open up your chest into a is it, low lunge. Now we're gonna hug the hips in, squeeze your glutes, draw the navel in, palms together, fingertips up towards the ceiling. Andre Anasana, open up your chest. Good, squeeze your glutes, flex, stabilize the hips. Exhale, forward fold, all the way down. Keep your core engaged. Then take your left palm, place it right in the front of the foot here, and twist. 
Good. Open chest. Hug the hips in. Good. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Good. You think hips forward and down. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Last one. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. So that hip can kind of come out to the side. Good. You're going to come back to center. Walk your hands back. Lift your right toes up towards the ceiling. Yeah. You feel the stretch right in the back of the leg. You can be on your finger pods too. Take a deep inhale. Open up your chest. Navel into spine. Inhale through the nose. And then exhale here. Feel that stretch right in the back of the knee. Hamstring, back of the leg. Heel. Good. Inhale through the nose. And exhale. Last one. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Good. You're going to come back. Center. Good. And you're going to place that foot back down onto the mat. Curl that back toe under. You might want to bring your foot in a little bit more because you're going to straighten out that um, back leg. Now you can extend the arms into a crescent lunge here. Now I'm going to take this right hand and twist. Good. Crescent lunge twist. Open up your chest. Hug the hips in. Squeeze your glutes together. Draw the navel in. Good. Now you're going to go ahead. You're going to place your palms together. Elbow, left elbow on the outside of that right knee. Extend that back leg. Open chest. Take a deep breath in and twist. Good. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, twist. Open chest. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, twist. So you're going to bring that back foot to meet your front foot. Yeah. <laughs> and twist. You might fall. It's okay. Then bring your hips. Shift your hips back. Good. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Good. Last one. Inhale and twist. Good. You're going to come back to center into your Ukatasana. Spin your arms overhead. Inner arm in line with your ears. Bring your knee heels up. Open chest. Draw the hips back. Find your focal point forward and down. Exhale, forward fold. Drop your head. Good. Inhale, half fold. Open chest. Good. Exhale, bend your knees. Palms down. Hop or step your feet back. I'm going to step my feet back. <laughs> You're going to go ahead. Shift your weight forward. Squeeze your glutes. Everything down. Come all the way down. Now you can go ahead and grab your right foot. Pull that knee in towards your butt. Feel that stretch there. You can place your left hand in the front to help you keep your balance here. Good. Take a deep breath in. You want to think tailbone going down towards the mat so you can spin through lower back. Good. I'm going to go ahead and switch. Bring your, you can place your hand in the inside of the foot and then hug the, hip, the, the heel in towards your butt. Open up your chest if you want. This is optional. Or you can come down. Again, tailbone going down towards the mat. Squeeze your butt as if you holding, trying to hold a penny in between your butt. Squeeze. Good. And then you're going to come back down. And release. Then we're going to go ahead and do both. Grab. Bring your knees out a little bit, right? And then open up your chest and lift your knees up, toes up towards the ceiling. Draw your shoulder heads back. Yeah. Squeeze your glutes, tailbone down. Open chest. And then exhale, come down. Palms right by your ribcage. Elbows in. Curl your back toes under. Lift yourself into your downward dog. Wow. Right? Good. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Now we're going to go ahead and do the other side. Fun, right? So that's our flow. That's our flow that we're going to be doing today. Okay, and then at the end, we're going to give you a little bit of a finisher like core, and we'll be done. All right, feet together. Lift your left leg up on an inhale. Good. As much as you can, open up that hip. Good. Now we're going to go ahead, keep your arms straight. Bring your left knee in towards your right elbow. Open chest. Keep your chest open. And now extend that leg. 
out as much as you can. Come back. Yeah. Draw the navel in. Then extend the arms, press away from the mat. Bring your left knee in towards your right elbow and then extend that leg like a twist. Try your best. Yeah, draw the navel in. And then you're gonna go ahead, bring your left foot in between your hands. Keep your knee in towards your chest and swing. Yep, bring your knee down, uncurl your toe. Open up your chest into a low lunge. Draw your navel in, extend the arms overhead into Anjanasana. Fingertips up and back, open chest. Good. And then exhale, forward fold. Good, you're gonna keep your right hand right beside your left and twist. Ooh, it's getting hot. Yeah, take a deep breath in and deep breath out. And twist. Yeah, open chest. Inhale through the nose and exhale. Good. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Good. Come back to center. Yeah, you want to walk your hands back into Ardha Humasana. Get toes back. Draw your navel in, open up your chest. Feel that stretch in the back of your leg. All right, so just to point out your hip, that right hip in line with your knee. You can be on your finger pods or palms down. And then if you want, forward fold. Okay, feel the stretch right in the back of the leg. If those who've been following me, you're probably like, oh, this is a change in scenery. I'm currently, in Thailand, so I'm super excited to be here. I'm actually teaching yoga here, so it's been a cool gig. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, be here for the rest of the week and then be back in LA. All right, so you're gonna take a deep breath in, shift your weight forward. So you're in a low, low lunge, right? Open up your chest, take a deep inhale through the nose. We're gonna go ahead and curl your back toe under, bring that foot in a little bit more. We're gonna straighten out that back leg, right? We're gonna go into your crescent lunge. Spin the arms, squeeze your glutes, draw the hips in. You're gonna open up your chest. And you're gonna go ahead and twist into your crescent lunge twist. And I want you to extend that right leg, so straight, and keep that left knee bent. Open and see if you can lift towards the back at your fingertips, towards the back. Keep your your spine nice and lifted, extending, extending, and then crown the head, reaching up towards the ceiling. Good, come back. Whoa, right? Open chest. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and twist. Right elbow on the outside of the knee. Good, take a deep breath in. Straighten out that back leg and twist, open chest. Good, inhale through the nose, and then exhale, open twist. Good, last one, inhale, and exhale, twist. Then go ahead and bring that back foot to meet your right foot, or the right foot to meet your left foot, sorry. <laughs> Good, and twist here, draw the navel in. Bring your hips back down if you can. Take an inhale, and exhale, twist. Open chest, yes, shoulders away from your neck. Inhale, last one, and twist. Good. Come back into your Ukatasana. Chair pose, draw your navel in. Look down to see if you can see your toes lined up. Good. And then arms overhead. Lift your knees, heels up. Good, draw the navel in. Go back, go back, and forward fold. Yes. Oh my gosh, right? <laughs> Inhale, half fold, open chest. Good, exhale, bend your knees, palms down. Go into your high plank. Good, shift your weight forward. Go all the way down. Grab your ankles. Lift your toes up. Open chest. Good, exhale, come down. Palms planted, elbows in. Palms right by your rib cage. And go back into your downward dog. Oh, wow, right? Good job, you guys. Take a deep breath in and then exhale. Good, two more, deep breath in and deep breath out. Good, last one, inhale and exhale. Good, very, very good. 
We're gonna do that again one more time. This time we're gonna go breath for each movement. Good, bring your feet together, lift your right leg up. Good, right knee into the left elbow. And extend, and come back. That's an inhale. Good, right foot in between your hands. Good, and then bring your knee down. Uncurl your toe. Inhale, Anjanasana, open chest. Good, exhale, forward fold. And twist. Good. Come back down. Walk your hands back. Ardha Hamasana. Good. Tap split. Come back. Good. Open chest. Curl your back toe under. Straighten out that back leg into your crescent lunge. Good. And then you're going to go ahead and twist. Open chest. Good. Come back into your crescent lunge. And you're going to go ahead and twist into your crescent lunge, twist. You're gonna go ahead, bring your back foot to meet your front foot, and twist. Come into your chair pose, open chest. And then lift your heels up. Good, exhale, forward fold, heels down. Inhale, half fold, open chest. Good, bend your knees, hop or walk your feet back into a high plank. Inhale, shift your leg forward. Exhale, come down to your belly. Grab your toe or your heel, ankles, I mean, <laughs> lift your chest, draw your navel in. Good, come down, palms right by your rib cage. Go into your downward dog. That last thing is so random, but at least you get your back bends in, right? Bring your feet together. Now I'm gonna do the left lot, the left side. Left leg lifts, open up that hip. Left knee in towards your chest or your right elbow. Sorry, y'all, I'm like tripping a bit. And then come back into your third legged dog. Left foot right in between your hands. Seal that back heel down. Uncurl your toe. Inhale into Anjanasana. Open chest, bring your tips back. Good, exhale, forward fold. You're gonna go and shift your weight back into half split. Good, and then shift your weight back into your low lunge. Right palm in the front and twist, open chest, draw your navel in, come back, curl your back toe under, straighten out that back leg into your crescent lunge. Good. Gonna go ahead and twist. Good, open chest, look towards the back, fingertips, come back into your crescent lunge. And then right elbow on the outside of the knee and twist, straighten out that back leg. Bring your back foot to meet your front foot. Good, inhale, open chest, twist. Draw your navel into spine, suck in the lower belly. Inhale, come into your chair pose. Lift your heels up and bring your heels down. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half fold, open chest. Palms down, jump or hop back or jump or step back. Shift your leg forward, chaturanga. All the way down to your belly. Lift your toes up, grab your ankles, open chest. Draw your navel in, come down. Go into your downward facing dog. Good, take a deep breath in and deep breath out. You're gonna go ahead and bend your knees. You're gonna jump, feet in between your hands, like a jump through. Yeah, good. You're gonna go ahead into Navasana. Hold, take a deep breath in, deep breath out, that's one. Good, two, three, good, inhale, exhale, four, ooh, and five, straighten out, five, good, hold, four, lift your chest, three, lift your chest, two, draw your navel in, one, good, punch your palms, lift, good, and come back down. All right, very good. Pashimottasana, gonna go ahead, extend your arms overhead, draw your navel in, and in forward fold. Feel the stretch, the back of the legs. Take a deep breath in, and deep breath out. Good, inhale through the nose, and exhale. Good, two more, inhale through the nose, and exhale. Good, last one, deep breath in 
and deep breath out. Good, can relax your head. Good, and slowly roll up. Nice, Get nice and tall. Palms right by your, by your hips. Press away, shoulders away from your neck, chin down, draw your navel in. Good, and then we're gonna go ahead, take a deep breath here. Inhale, toes back, and exhale. Good, I'm gonna go ahead and come onto your back. Knees in towards your chest. Good, rock side to side. That was a workout. I'm like so, I'm sweating. I think it's too, because it's humid here. Very humid, so. And I have the fans on. Very sweaty. So give me a thumbs up if you felt like you've gotten a workout out of this. <laughs> Good. And leave a comment with your thumbs up, right? If you completed this whole workout. So I know that people are out here completing the workout. <laughs> All right, go ahead, take a deep breath in. I'm gonna bring your arms out to the side, knees to the right, open up your chest, keep your chest open, shoulders down, and then knees to the left. Good, feel that stretch, your lower back. And then we're gonna come into your shavasana, I'm gonna move back. Good, and relax your head. Feel your spine softening down onto the mat, relaxing your shoulders. You take a deep inhale and deep exhale. Good. Inhale through the nose and release. Just follow your inhale and follow your exhale. Do a quick body scan from your crown all the way down towards your toes. And the soften your forehead, your eyebrows, your eyelids. Unclench your jaw, relax your throat and your chest, your arms, your shoulders, your hands, your tummy, your hips, your legs, your toes. You can go ahead and start to wiggle your fingers and your toes if you like. You can stay in Shavasana if you want longer. You can stay here. If not, if you need to go, you can roll onto your right side. Get your body, your circulation back into your body. And if you want, you can either, again, stay in Shavasana or you can lift yourself up into a nice seated position. Good. And just kind of roll your shoulders back. And feel your shoulder blades and draw your navel in. And give your head and your neck a roll just to loosen up the neck. Continue to drop your shoulders down. And roll your neck all the way to the other side. Go ahead and take a deep breath in, extend your arms overhead, palms together. And then exhale, bring that energy, all the energy towards your heart center. Think of something you're grateful for, bringing gratitude into your heart. You wanna seal that gratitude there. Good. Thank you so much. I hope this brought some value. You can practice this on your own a few times. Um, whenever you like, you feel that you need, your body needs it. And thank you. Continue to practice. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. And bye for now.